welcome back to Gapy's Grow Room. We have a new addition in the grow room. I don't think I've shown this in a video yet. This is a grow tent that I got for Christmas and I have some of my peppers growing in here. So let me turn off this pink um, LED light and I'll turn on the white LED light. So these are the LED lights I have in here. I don't actually use the white one. I'm just turning that on for the sake of the video. Um, but this is a 300 watt LED that I got on Amazon, which is what I'm using in here. And I'm controlling the on and off switches by this power strip here, which is controlled by a phone app. So this is a smart power bar app, and I can turn off and on the lights just by doing that. And you can also schedule the power bar to turn on and off at certain times. So let me turn off the other one. Okay, and you can also control the USB on and off times. So this is a pretty cool um, little device that I just recently got. So here's the peppers that I have growing. And I have three trays of peppers in here right now and that's probably all I'll put in. Um, I like to keep them spaced out a little bit so they have nice lots of room to grow. And I've got two fans set up here. These are USB fans that I also got on Amazon. And I have those timed with the the timing on the lights. So this first tray over here, um, I have two of each variety. The first two are the Dorset Naga, then we have Scotch Brains, and then this one here is the MOA Red Scotch Bonnet, and then we have an MOA Yellow Scotch Bonnet. And these were all grown starting in the beginning of December, and these are for the Google Plus um, contest, um, growing contest. So whoever grows the most of these peppers um, off one plant will win a prize. So I did have, it looks like it's getting a little better, but I did have some edema issues. You can see that there, there's some white specks on the bottom of the leaves. That's called edema and it's usually from too much moisture or too much humidity. I do have a temperature and humidity control in here, so it's or a, a device that shows what it is. So it's 55% humidity and 60 2.8 degrees in here right now, which isn't, I mean, I don't think it's too humid in here, so I'm not sure what's causing the edema, and I, I do keep it pretty dry. So the ones on the left here were started in Molbach seed starting mix, which is actually made by E.B. Stone, and the ones on the right here were grown in Spiked Soils Dirt Martini. So I, I'm doing a little bit of experiment to see which ones grow better. Um, I don't see a ton of difference. I did notice that there is some more edema issues on the ones that are growing in in the Molbax potting mix. So that I that may have some problem with the the potting mix. Maybe it holds on to moisture too much or maybe it doesn't drain enough. I'm not sure, but you can see there there's more. But I don't have as much of an issue with it on on the ones growing in the other one. So I've never really been a big fan of the EB Stone, so I'm not too surprised that I'm having some issue with with those ones. Um, I have, you can see I've topped off the Dorset Naga, but I haven't topped off any of the others yet. Um, they're just growing, these varieties seem to be growing more, more short than some of the other ones. Um, but I, I'll probably, this one here, the Scotch Bonnet, looks like it's finally starting to get a little bit taller, so I might be topping that one here pretty soon. I still have another month or so to go before I can put these outside into the greenhouse. Um, so we'll see how that goes. And then the rest of these, um, I started these ones in the end of December and I've topped off most of these. You could see um, this is the the fish pepper that has variegated leaves. You can see some of that variegation um, on here. And as I mentioned before, I'm using the double cup method for these peppers and I have the the roots that come out the bottom and I've got a rock in the bottom of the cups and I feed them through the bottom so I've never watered these from the top. So you could see this one's been topped off. This one is a tasuke which is a Mexican New Mexico pepper. So I have two of these fish peppers and then I have let's see what is this one? This one's a relleno. So I have a couple different Mexican peppers. There's also the hatch 
which is a really good one that I that I always enjoy. And then white tie. So this one um, is just starting to put out some flowers. I think I topped this one. Yeah, I did top this one a while ago, and it's putting out a lot of side growth, as you can see. And then I've also got a black pearl and an Ethiopian brown. This one is one that, if you saw my earlier videos, the, it had really bad leaf curl. And it still has some, but it seems to be doing a lot better than what it was before. Um, the leaves are a little soft. So maybe need some water. As you can see, the the new the first leaves have already they've just been falling off. So uh, sometimes I pick them off, and sometimes I just let them fall off on their own. And then this one is the black cobra, and I did top that one. And then on the left we have a few more. This is a Korean gochu. I have two of those. And I'll be planting both of those into the garden. It's the only pepper that I'm going to be planting two of because I, I really want to use this for making kimchi and maybe some chili powders. And then we have, this is a cross between Chiro de Norte and Golden Camo from a friend. I'm growing a few of those. Um, I have two here under LED, LEDs of that. And then I've got um, a Starburst. So everybody is really excited about this Starburst. And you can see one of them is doing a lot better than the other. But this Starburst is made by, it's a cross from Kang Star. You can see there's some flower buds coming out there. So I think I need to cut those off. Um, but it's made by Kang Star. It's a really cool looking pepper and not too many people have seeds of it. Um, there might be more available next year, but I was one of the lucky ones that was able to get some seeds. So I'm really looking forward to growing that one. And then in the back here, these two are California Reapers, which are a peach colored reaper. Um, and I got these, I saved the seeds from a, a neighbor that grew those last year that he got from his brother. So we'll see how those do. I'm, I'm looking interest, interested in, in checking those out. So that's all we have here in the grow tent under the LED. Oh, I also have a little cup down here of apple cider vinegar. And you can see I've got some fungus gnats that have made their way in there and gotten rid of those. But there's still there's still a few more fungus gnats around, but I'm trying to trap them in the apple cider vinegar, and it seems to be working. All right, let's go over here. So I have another um, shelf of LED panels, and I'm going to go ahead and turn these off so we can see. It's kind of dark in here, but you can kind of see from the, the window light. These are the sweet peppers that I started in February. And I haven't topped any of those yet, I don't think. No. Nope. Um, so those are still kind of small. And I did have some um, edema issues over here. Not as bad. It looks like it's actually clearing up a little bit. You can see some on this one a little bit, but... These are doing a lot better than with the edema than the other ones. And I only have one fan up here. And that fan, I kind of alternate between putting it here on the top shelf and on the bottom shelf. So anyway, the sweet peppers I have here are a, a Jarvski Romero Ahi Habito. And those are the tallest ones. And then I have some smaller ones. I think I started maybe a couple um, weeks later. So that I have the corny de gallo, or corny de toro gallo, corny de toro gallo, I think that's how you say it, but I've got three of those started, and then I've got some Jimmy Nardello, a couple of those, and a chocolate sweet pepper, and I got a couple of those, but there's one, see, oh, the sweet apple, this is a sweet apple, the, some of the leaves are starting to curl a little bit on that, and one of the leaves has, it's kind of, the end has gotten kind of crispy and dried up. I'm not sure what's going on with that one, um, but all the other ones seem to be doing okay. So then I have, under the fluorescence, another set of, of peppers. And let me turn the light on so we can see what's going on down there. All right, so here are the fluorescent peppers. And these are a lot of the same varieties I have growing under LED. But I'm doing a, an experiment to show the difference in fluorescent versus LED growth. 
So these are the sweet peppers over here, the corny de toro giallo. And then we've got the sweet apple, ahi habito, romero, ajvarsky. And I also have oregano down here mixed in, and then chocolate sweet and the Jimmy Nardello. So these are all peppers that I grew under LED as well that you just saw. But you can see these are doing um, a lot better than those under LED. So here you can see a huge difference between the, the two Jimmy Nardellos. So the one on the left here is the one grown under fluorescent, and the one on the right is the one under LED. So that's, that's really a huge difference. And they, they both have the same potting mix that I used. The only difference is the, the lighting. And they were both started at the same time as well. Um, so you can see the, I mean, there's, it's obvious the, the difference. Um, but I think next year I'm going to try starting it out under the fluorescence and then moving it, moving it up to the, the LED after, um, there's a lot of growth on the, the plants. And then, okay, so on the right side we have some more. You can see there's another fish pepper back here. You can see those variegated leaves. And I've topped um, all the flower, or all the, all the peppers that are on the fluorescent because they've just grown so much more than the others. So we also have that Chiro de Noro cross. And you can see the, the size of the leaves are way bigger than the other one that you saw um, over in the, the light tent. And then this one here is a tasuke. Again, that's way bigger than the one under the LED light. And then this one back here is a hatch pepper. Let's get a better look at that. So there we have the, the hatch pepper. Again, a lot bigger than the LED plant. So a lot of these are, are, they're all ones that I'm also growing under LED. Black Pearl, the White Tie, and check out this, this White Tie. I mean, there's all kinds of branches coming out. It's practically a bush already. And then we've got the Black Cobra back there. And then the last one here is the Ethiopian Brown. And the Ethiopian Brown, um, you can see the leaves are curling a little bit on this one as well but not nearly as, as much as the, the one under LED. And it looks like I've got some flowers to pick off um, a lot of these. So it's kind of hard to keep up with that, but I don't want it to flower just yet because I want it to focus on root growth. And then once I get it outside, then it can flower and produce a lot of fruit um, as much as it wants. And hopefully I'll win the Google Plus contest. So that's it with the, the peppers. Um, I've got around 60 or so, I think, pepper plants, but I'm only going to be planting around 30 in the greenhouse, and the rest will be going up for sale. So thanks for watching, and I will post another update again soon.